Hello everybody, it is Dread the Scoper here, and basically I'm just going to go over how I would fix uh, the problem where there's too many home runs in this game, and I know a lot of people might be saying, um, you know, oh that's just, that's false, that's not true, that's just, you know, it's whatever, um, but I can honestly tell you guys that there is too many home runs, because as you can see here, Giancarlo Stanton has 62 home runs in 217 at-bats, okay? Um, so that's, I believe, above 25% of the time that he's getting a home run. That's a little ridiculous for a baseball game. Now, Grant, he does have some of the highest power numbers, but at the same time, half of his hits, more than half of his hits are home runs. Um, I don't think that's realistic or really great. I understand that they want to, you know, kind of increase their, you know, stats a little bit to make it, you know, more consistent. You know, you don't want your guys batting 250 because that's not fun to play, but you also don't want your guys batting like 500 um, for someone that has like very low contact and stuff. So, I mean, my team total average is, I mean, I'm batting 500 and that's just, you know, it's fun and it's, you know, but it becomes, it gets to the point where it's like, all right, we gotta, we gotta chill. So these are just some of the five ways that I would do it. I'm going to start off with the number one thing that I would actually do, um, and that is lower the pitchers or no increase the pitchers' home run per nines. As you can see, Clayton Kershaw has a 77, which okay, that's not great. You know that that doesn't look great. You know it looks pretty bad. All right, but then let's say you go to you know Chris Sale. His is at 53. His is at 57. 66. 67? 60? These are some of the, 76? These are some of the best pitchers in the game. And, you know, their home runs per nine can't even get above 80? 67, 67, 60, 57. Now, I know these are probably also have to do with the stats. I don't know how many home runs these guys have given up. But, again, you can't be telling me that all the best pitchers in the league are giving up enough home runs so that they can't even get above 80 home runs per nine. Alright, I mean, y you can see this stuff. I'm just going down the list. The best one is Francisco Lariano. Um, and he's a, you know, veteran player, so he doesn't even really count because they just, they just, just those stats don't even mean anything. Um, I mean, they had 99 Hanley or whatever the Hanley Ramirez was in the last game. It was like a diamond at least, and in this game he's an 88 overall. So they change the stats all the time on these guys. Um, but as you can see, I mean, a lot of these guys have like 60 home runs per nine. That's ridiculous. There's no way that that should be a thing. Um, I, I honestly think they should upgrade that by something like 10%. I mean, this would get him to, you know, 84, 85, depending on if you're rounding or not. I mean, I guess you should get Phil Negro, who can, you know, he's at 83. Um, but again, you, I mean... Even if you upgrade by 10%, he only gets to 58. But, you know, I think they have to rework how that home run per nine thing works because it's kind of ridiculous that these guys have, you know, such low home runs per nine. Of course people are going to hit home runs if you have 99 power and you're going against someone with 57, you know, home runs per nine. So that's a little ridiculous. I honestly think they should work that out. Um, the next one is uh, lower just the hitting power of everybody. Um, I've looked at some stats, and like now that you think about it, like the hitting power of some people should not be as high as it should be. Um, so we're just gonna get out of this. Um, well, I'm gonna go look up some stats just to show you guys. But basically, what I would think is 99 power and stuff would be hitting something ridiculous, like 60 something home runs a season. You know, it's or at least 50. Um, so the fact that um, some people have like this 99 power is kind of ridiculous to me even though they might only have like 30 home runs that doesn't really make too much sense so uh, just as like an idea last year Mark Trumbo had 47 um, so and I, I you know there's a lot more behind the stats like against righties against lefties but you really didn't have I mean you have people like that just don't deserve to have 99 power um, I'll just go with, uh, one of the obvious ones, maybe, or 99, I'm saying like 90 or above, really, because, um, 
this is a, uh, it's a little ridiculous how, you know, someone like Chris Davis is 97 power, um, but again, he, he only got 38 home runs last year, which is obviously a lot, but for 97 power, um, uh, you know, and maybe he did do well against righties, but lower that number because, you know, if someone has 99, 97, 95 power, they should be like, you know, hitting 30 home runs against that, you know, single like right-handed pitching. If you have 99 power against right-handed pitching, you should probably have at least 30 home runs against right-handed pitching. Um, now maybe he does, and I can't, uh, you know, find that right now. But at the same time, a lot of these guys shouldn't have 99 power. Um, let's see who else. I, I can't even find Mike Trout on this list. Um, but basically, that's my point, is that um, Mike Trout had 29 home runs last year, and his power is 90 and 87. I understand that Mike Trout's like the best player in the game, and I, I love him, but don't inflate this guy's stats because he didn't. He had 29 home runs, and I know it's over the past three years. I get that, but at the same time, if he's hitting 29 home runs last year, he probably doesn't deserve a 90 power rating. That's a little high. He'd still be the best player in the game, even if he had like a 75 power rating. It's not like it's that big of a deal. So I think they do have to rework the stats a little bit with a lot of the players because I don't think they're realistic, and I think that they do need to change that because um, it's a little ridiculous. Um, so that's my number two. Those are like the top two things. Uh, the next thing was increasing in stadium size. Um, for some of the stadiums, it almost looks like the infield uh, is almost bigger than the outfield, and I don't know why that is, but it looks a little weird because – even in Fenway, um, if you go to Fenway, it, like, where the dirt ends from home plate to the dirt, it, it's almost like the size of, like, from the grass, where the grass starts, to, the, like, uh, the monster. And it's like, the stadiums don't even look like they're really that big, at least in my eyes. Like, I've been to many baseball games, and when you get in the stadiums, they're huge, and the players look so small. And the players look, I mean, in this game, players look so much bigger than I think what they should look like. So either that's, you know, I think extending some of the walls, because I don't honestly think that, um, you know, I, I just, I don't think that it looks realistic, at least. Uh, it's the same thing with other games, too, where um, the, the players just look a little too big to be playing on the field that they're playing on. Um, so... I would increase the stadium size. Um, I would also maybe say redo the ball physics. There's no way that you can be hitting 62 home runs and 200 at bats um, and say that the, the you know there's great ball physics. It's obviously improved, and I love the way that the ball moves. Um, but I don't think that uh, you know they definitely have a lot of work to do there. Um, and the other thing was basically when you're um, hitting and you see the circle, obviously. Um, that's your vision. I think they should just decrease that a whole lot because it's kind of ridiculous. Some people's circle is literally the entire strike zone, and that's kind of ridiculous. Um, I also think what they should do is if the circle completely misses the ball, you do not hit the ball. That's happened many, many times where you know you're just playing and they'll swing in like an upper right, you know, up and away pitch, and the ball's like down and in, and they'll just hit like a home run, and it's like. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense. Um, I, I think they should shorten it up, and then they should also um, basically make it so if you don't touch it with that circle, you don't hit it. That's real life. Um, that's realistic. I don't. I think people will hit a lot less than 500 um, if they're doing that. So uh, th those are the things that I would do. It seems a little. I mean, it is a video game, and I understand that you want to make it so you know you succeed a little bit more than real life. But you also don't want to make it seem like you're, you know, hitting 500. That's obviously not realistic. Um, so, but anyways, that's, those are the things that I would do because, um, again, that's, I, you know, these are just suggestions again, and I don't think that um, MLB's really going to care, but these are just some of the things that, you know, if you guys wanted to post on the forum, just be like, oh, that's actually a decent idea. Hopefully you guys like this. Um, and this, again, just a suggestion. I'm not trying to call them out. This is a great game when it's working. Probably the best sports game that I've played. Um, I, it's definitely realistic, except for some of the things. And 
And again, this is just trying to show MLB that like, hey, you know, these are some of the things that you can do better. Um, but thank you again for the incredible game that you guys have put out. So thank you very much. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And uh, I will see you. So see you.